What's going on, No Carbs Nation? How are we doing today? All right, so hey, welcome to another Stoveside Chat. This is Stoveside Chat number five. In honor of it being number five, I'm going to, to or today, we're going to discuss the top five thoughts or five thoughts of mine from my Nashville trip. So let's get started. So today, super shocking, surprise, I'm going to make some ground beef. I'm going to mix it with a little bit of cheese because I can handle cheese. Some can't, and that's fine, but I'm going to use cheese. Um, so uh, as I was saying, um, this last weekend, my wife and I, to celebrate our 30th wedding anniversary, I can't believe she's put up with me for 30 years. That alone deserves a, some type of medal or something for her because that's amazing. So to celebrate 30 years, we took a trip to Nashville. About a nine hour drive, wasn't too bad. Um, but you know, I wanna provide some thoughts and just, uh, cause we'd never been to Nashville before. And I just wanted to, thought I'd share my experience as part of this stove side chat. Um, so, uh, the first thought of my trip is, you know, not real shocking, but, uh, I didn't feel like Nashville is a very low carb friendly town, um, which I think is to be expected. Now, I'll say this, the food smelled incredible. Uh, such good smells down there when it comes to food. However, most of it was battered, deep fried, covered in sugar. Um, you know, that's just not, not my thing. The awesome hotel we stayed at had, you know, free breakfast and, and all this. Now. The breakfast was mostly you know, carb-loaded stuff, pancakes, waffles, potatoes, stuff that I can't eat. Um, it did have some sausage patties, but the sausage patties look like they're probably filled with all kinds of stuff. Um, they also had scrambled eggs, which I thought, okay, not bad. But to me, it looked like the lady that was making the scrambled eggs was pouring or spraying some type of... Uh, what I assumed was vegetable oil on their griddle. So I just wasn't a big fan of that. But hey, it's it's a hotel, they're mass feeding people. So I get it, right? And nor, nor would I expect them to cater to this lifestyle because a lot of people don't eat this way. So that's fine. Um, the restaurants we went to, again, covered in sugar, battered, deep fried, smelled incredible, but couldn't eat it. Um, and the, the bars and restaurants, did have some meat on their menu that wasn't breaded, <laughs> not much. Um, so I, I got uh, you know, a burger one time, but uh, the burgers were so small that I ended up having to order multiple <laughs> meals uh, just because, again, portion size was so small and only I could eat really was the burger. Now, to be fair, uh, one establishment did have steaks on the menu. I thought, oh, okay, $90 for a ribeye. $90. And by the looks of the establishment, I wasn't quite sure of the quality of the meat. So, um, yeah, not knowing the quality of the, of the beef, I, I certainly wasn't about to drop $90 on a steak. It's, that to me is just insane, but so be it. Uh, I will say <clears throat> the one bar slash restaurant <clears throat> was uh, Jason Aldean's, and they did have a better selection. So, the burger there wasn't too bad of a size. It was a double patty. They had wings that weren't breaded, and they were just they were, had a rub on them. Um, th that was cool. So you know, there are some options, but the options are few and far between, and they're expensive. <laughs> but that's okay. And actually, on the way down for the drive down, I prepared. Right, I had I prepared the night before some you know some. Uh, some hamburgers and some some ground uh, pork burgers, if you will, and some bacon. So I, I was good to go on the drive down. So, but once we get there, just, just try to plan ahead or at least know what to expect if you eat this way. Um, the next thing is uh, take plenty of cash. This is a tourist town, um, and it's going to cost you some money. I don't drink alcohol, but those that do, <laughs> ooh. Uh, expense. I think the average beer was about nine bucks a shot, uh, so or nine dollars a bottle, whatever you 
to say. Uh, shots of hard liquors even more. Um, you know, most places didn't have a problem giving me water. Uh, I had one bartender kind of look at me like, oh, this cheapskate wants water. It has nothing to do with being cheap. I just don't drink alcohol. But most places were really accommodating, which I thought was pretty cool. Uh, again, as I mentioned, the food's going to be expensive. Uh, so you're going to need money for that. And another thing I noticed uh, or learned was the bands, because every bar, restaurant, even some of the hotels, every establishment seems like has multiple bands playing. And, uh, and I'll get to that um, a little bit later, but uh, in terms of the bands and the musicians and artists. But uh, one thing I learned is uh, they all play for tips. So these bars that hire them don't pay them. Right? They literally make their living, make their money off tips. Uh, they'll, you know, for 20 bucks, you can request a song to have them play and they'll bring around the tip bucket. And some people thought that was tacky, but I get it, right? These are artists. They're trying to make a living, trying to be discovered, all that good stuff. And they're basically working for free or working for tips. So, um, which brings me to my next thing, uh, is the talent. Oh, man, it's not just all country music. So if you're not a country music fan, it's not a big deal. Lots of talent in Nashville. Uh, incredible talent. Um, you know, very impressed by some of these artists. Um, playing all kinds of music. Um, working hard. Grinding. Uh, just, I just can't get over how impressed with some of these folks are. And, and how hard it must be to make it in that business, in that industry. You know, listen to some of these folks. And some of these guys have been, guys and gals have been, doing this for a long time and haven't hit it big. So tough business. Uh, you can tell a lot of these artists and musicians are very passionate about their music and their craft. Um, but uh, I, I love live music anyway. So really, really cool experience there. Uh, next thing, if you're going to Nashville, be prepared for crowds. Um, I did not know this, but Nashville is a bigger city than Atlanta. Didn't realize that. And with it being a tourist town, um, the, the music and bar scene, the crowds are pretty crazy. I'm not big on crowds, but on, honestly, they were, in my mind, they were manageable until about after 8.30 at night. At that point, it became too much for me. Uh, whether it was in the bars and restaurants or literally on the streets, you were shoulder to shoulder. It was packed. Um, so expect crowds. Expect lines to get into certain places after a certain time of night. Um, and my last thought about my trip to Nashville, it's a not so good thought. Right? Um, I was blown away at the homeless problem they have in Nashville. Um, and it is a problem. Um, I, my heart breaks for these people. Um, I Obviously, I'm not a doctor. I can't diagnose. But a lot of these folks uh, appear to have some mental health problems. Some of them appear to be strung out on drugs. Um, I don't what kind of drugs, I don't know, but I mean, uh, <laughs> these people, some of them, and this is all like, so we spent most of the time on Broadway, which is, you know, I think they call it the, you know, the honky tonk highway. Um, it's where all the bars and all the tourists are and, and all the, the hot spots going on. And these homeless people are right there. Right there on Broadway, in the middle, people they're they're sleeping in front of the bars. Um, these, these these folks are it, it again broke my heart. Um, some of them looked like and smelled like they haven't bathed in months. Uh, some of them had you know conditions like you can tell just from being exposed to the elements. Um, a couple of them were you know screaming. One was bent over yelling at the road in the middle of the road in the crosswalk, yelling at it like it's done something wrong guys talking to themselves, um, just, uh, just very, a lot of them digging stuff out of the trash. I saw them pull drinks out of the trash, leftover food. It just, it saddens me to, to see. Now again, I'm sure this is, isn't just Nashville. I'm sure this is an issue across the country in certain areas. Um, it's sad, but i would never been exposed to it up close and personal that way. And uh, man, that's bad. I, I don't know how these officials in those cities fix it, but, uh, you know, I hope the people in Nashville fix the homeless
homes problem they have there. It's uh, for many reasons, but uh, mostly from a humanity reason. Um, uh, yeah, pretty sad. Some of these homeless guys even had dogs. On uh, you know, some of the uh, John Rich's bar, for example, their bouncers had a, a, a dish of water and a little bucket of dog treats because they knew these dogs are homeless with the homeless people. So very cool for those guys uh, to do that. Uh, but just sad all around. Uh, overall, great experience, great visit to a pretty cool city. Um, you know, it's a lot going on. Um, so enjoyed it. Had a good time. Um, and I guess uh, so that covers my Nashville trip. And one last thing um, I want to talk about during this uh, stoveside chat is I, I really enjoy doing these. I've been I've been on YouTube now for a couple years. Um, you know, I, I am a very busy person. I'm a very demanding job, busy family, all that good stuff. Uh, so. Um, it's just me and my cell phone. I have no fancy cameras, no fancy lighting, no fancy editing software. I don't spend any time. I hit record, say what I want to say, upload it, right? That's it. Uh, maybe work on a thumbnail a little bit. So, although I don't take a lot of time, it's because I don't have a lot of time. And to be quite honest with you, the engagement has been frustrating at best. Uh, just not getting a lot of traction. So, for that reason, I am... This will probably be my last video I make for a while. Um, I think I need to reevaluate. Uh, this YouTube thing is really for me. It just, uh, just doesn't seem a couple of you, and I do mean a couple. That's it. It's it. A couple of you do interact, and I appreciate you more than you know. I really do. You're the reason I haven't stopped making videos to this point. So know that. Um, but you know, I even notice on Instagram, I, I've lost about a hundred followers in the last uh, you know, few weeks there too so I don't know I need to uh, need to reevaluate what I'm doing here and uh, figure out where to go from there but uh, hey that's it thanks for tuning in as always do me a favor let's help spread the word of better health hit the thumbs up hit the subscribe hit the notify leave me a comment and uh, we'll go from there I appreciate you more than you know. Thanks for tuning in. Stay strong, No Carbs Nation. I love you. Talk to you next time. Go get it.